Back in the early days of my YouTube channel, these were some of the most popular videos I produced. Hidden crafting benches. Systems that allowed you to hide the ugly crafting benches away inside your base and then flick them out when you need them. I personally really like them and clearly you guys like them as well. But today, we're going to be doing something special. We're going to try and create the most fancy hidden crafting bench we can possibly build. So first things first, I want this thing to be extending down from the ceiling, essentially dropping down and being placed on top of a platform that we're going to be building underneath. Now up at the top here, I've kind of laid out a quad piston extender setup with some block stoppers as well. And let's take a look at what sort of firing order we're going to be going for here. So that is the roof retraction. That's all good. And then we push the crafting bench across and then we need to go that one, that one, and then that one, which will spit out that piston. We then retract this one back, push the observer across, which will then cause that to spit out his block. And then we just go extension. And I guess, I mean, have we? Okay, so then we need to extend that, extend that, retract that, retract that, retract that, then go back up the line like this, push that back across and then push this back down. Wowzers. Not only is this all extremely complicated, but I also want it to happen very, very quickly indeed. Lots of fast pulses and things like that going on. So let's see. Now, as far as I can tell, I should have the first section of the circuitry all done. The section that actually picks up the roof, drags it over and then pushes the crafting bench across. Now let's see if this happens. Not quite. Ah, okay, so we need we need another repeater right here. So let's quickly swap that out. Okay, let's give it another go. So roof, crafting bench is still in the right place. Hit the button. Still no? We need yet more delay. That's all right, but I feel like it could be faster. I'm very curious as to how well this is about to work. So we should get the first system. <laughs> Not well. Uh, what happened there? I'm assuming this was a little bit too fast. Maybe this was a little bit too fast as well. I say I've tried to do the first bit of the extension. So the first extension downwards. And I think I've just kicked it in a little bit too quickly. But that was good. That was very good. Yeah, because we just need that to spit out its piston right there, this one, and then we're good to go, I think. Actually, that wasn't good. The wrong piston is extending, and I can't fully understand why, and no matter what I seem to do, it doesn't seem to fix it. Oh, apart from that, that, that fixed it. And go. No. So the goal is, is to make sure that all of the pistons are actually extending. We should get to the point where this sticky piston here ends up actually here, and then these pistons remain in sequence. Now, hopefully, that tiny little pulse extender right there should actually aid this problem, and we'll now have ourselves a fully functioning and very fast quad piston extender. So that's flush with the floor, that is the crafting bench, and go. That's the ticket. That's the one. So there we go, that's fired right the way down to the bottom really, really quickly. Now it's time to add in a little redstone line which will move this observer across, allowing us to actually extend that piston, spitting out the crafting bench so it actually ends up on the floor. And in theory, it actually should be pretty easy. I'm saying in theory a lot because often when working in redstone contraptions of this speed and also slight complexity, a lot of stuff gets theoretical quite fast. So the next goal that I've set myself is to retract this piston from this location. Now I've done a little bit of the groundwork here, so we should have this right here. And then for the time being, I'm just going to use an orange block as our crafting bench. But let's see if we can actually manage to do this. As I say, it all happens very fast. Oh, and we're just out of time. I would say this repeater here. So we need this piston, which will be pushed down next to this observer, to extend and retract really fast before it gets pulled back to this location. Let's give it another whirl. So what you're looking for is a piston being retracted in this area right here. I know it can be tough in these sorts of redstone contraptions to know what you're looking out for, but that was good. That's what we needed, right there. So that piston has now been brought back. 
and then we just need to power it, which means powering this one so that it would in theory retract the crafting bench, then shoot this one down, and then retract all of them upwards. We're on the home straight. Good news is everything is going to plan. Bad news. <sighs> I think that might be the bad news actually. What on earth happened there? We are alarmingly close to being done on the retraction. Look how much has to happen. Look. <sighs> <laughs> that is fast. <laughs> Seriously quick. Okay, let's actually, let's fake there being the crafting bench down there. So, one, two, three. There we go. So, what we should see is it picks up the block and it will retract it to there. So, now we just need to extend out that pulse a little bit, retract all the way upwards, and we're pretty much done. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Holy macaroni, it did. <laughs> so this should, in theory, be the final test of the system. There we go. We have picked up the craft. Whoa. Did you see how fast that all happened? <laughs> this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I love it. I mean, it's quite difficult to see any of the piston stuff happening because there's so much redstone wiring flying around here. But yeah, this is a really, really strong start to the build. Whew. Lightning speeds. Absolutely lightning speeds. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to create a little block swapper system down in this plinth right here. So this is where our crafting bench ends up. What I want to do is swap out this sea lantern for a sticky piston, then retract that carping table down so that it ends up on the pillar. And then on the swap over back, then it pushes the block back up, swaps out the sticky piston and puts the sea lantern there. And then this thing gets sucked up into the ceiling. Yeah, it all seems entirely possible. For some reason in my head, I'm really struggling to think of how to do this. Ah, oh, it's hurting my brain. I think by the look of things, I was just overcomplicating things in my head once again. So we should now have a fully functioning system down underneath here, which will retract the sea lantern, push that piston across, and then it will extend and retract, pulling the block down. And then when we hit the button again, that will push the crafting table upwards, retract everything, and then the sea lantern will be swapped out. Okay, yeah, that works. So let's just rebuild this plinth, connect up both systems, and we should now have a full functional drop-down crafting bench system. I, <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day that I would create something this big and beefy for a hidden crafting bench. It seemed a little bit odd to have such a long delay between the last extensions. So everything happens, then finally the piston extends and retracts. This should now fix it. So that's eight, that's 12, and then that's 15. So that's the full length of the wooden button press. And that means that this now should activate all quite quickly. So sea lantern swap out, piston, and then there's the extension. Much, much better. So of course, for a fancy hidden crafting bench, we have to have some form of fancy input. And for this, we have got this magic button. And hopefully, fingers crossed, not tried this one yet. When we hit this button, yeah, it'll probably be good if I actually put the crafting bench into the system. That'd be smart. Now it's broken. Oh, now it's broken. Oh, I can't work out why. Yep, that was thanks to the magic button. For the magic button, I was using a piston which extended downwards. Unfortunately, that shortens the pulse by about one tick, which means that all of my incredibly time-sensitive circuitry that I have up at the top here wasn't actually functioning anymore. So I've replaced it with a standard button, and now we should see... Ah, I forgot to I forgot to connect it up. We should see this happening. There we go. That's more like it. Everything has been hidden away. So there is the hidden crafting bench completely disappeared and then when we hit the button once again, that comes down. This picks it up and there we go. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. I could do that all day. I could seriously do this all day. It is the most pointlessly overcomplicated system I have built in a very long time. But it works, and it works wonderfully, wonderfully well.
So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this little redstone video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. And as per usual, check out the latest film on the filming channel. If you like camera equipment, that's the one to watch.